Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelists. We're going to be doing the Ultimate Great Moth today. Uh, after his win against Seto Kaiba, Yu-Gi was puzzled to receive a package from Maximilian Pegasus, the creator of Duel Monsters. Inside the box was a videotape. Yu-Gi inserted the tape into the VCR and Pegasus' face popped up on the TV screen. Greetings, little Yu-Gi. I am Maximilian Pegasus. I've heard some terribly interesting things about you. Your impressive defeat of Seto Kaiba intrigued me so much that I've decided to investigate your amazing duel skills personally. Right here and now, we shall hold a special duel. Suddenly, strange and arcane magic froze time so that no one could move except for Yuki. The dark dimension we're in is known as the Shadow Realm, a mystical place where incredible monsters can be summoned and the impossible is quite possible. Tell me, Yugi, do you believe there is magic in these cards? Don't you know? You invented this game. What if I told you I didn't? Huh? In ancient times, the Egyptians called this the Shadow Game. Powerful pharaohs would hold mystical duels in other dimensions, just as we're doing now. But a set of cards, they battled with real monsters and real magic. The magical forces were so powerful that the Egyptians lost control of them and nearly destroyed the world, the entire world. It's a good story, but these monsters can't be real. These monsters are very real, and also quite dangerous, you boy You really are quite entertaining. The way you scowl and sneer, so defiant and yet helpless, and so completely ignorant of the power of your Millennium Puzzle. Yugi looked out at the Millennium Puzzle that he wore around his neck. The power of my puzzle? Five thousand years ago, a powerful pharaoh locked the magic of the Shadow Games away in seven mythical, mystical Millennium items. Seven items? You're saying that my puzzle's one of them? Millennium Necklace, Eye, Scale, Key, Necklace, Puzzle, and Rod. Yes, and there are mystical energies locked within it. Magic that could change your life forever if you only knew how to unleash it. As the two dueled, it seemed that Pegasus knew every move Yugi was going to make before he did. Despite this disadvantage, Yugi mustered all his skills and nearly won, but Yugi ran out of time when the time limit passed. I have taken the measure of your talents this day, Yugi Mogo, and when we next duel, we shall play for far higher stakes. I'm done with your games. Tisk tisk tisk. You presume I'm giving you a choice in the matter, but I'm not, for I also possess one of the seven Millennium Islands, the all-powerful Millennium Eye. A Millennium Eye? That's right, Yugi Bowie. I'll show you the true extent of its magic. I have found that, given the proper incentive, anyone can be made to play my games. The power of Millennium Eye lashed out and stole Grandpa's soul. Yugi could only watch in horror. Yugi! Grandpa! We will duel again, Yugi. How else will you ever reclaim your grandfather's soul? Yugi had no choice but to compete in Pegasus' Duelist Kingdom tournament so that he could get his grandfather's soul back. At Duelist Kingdom, each duelist was given two starships, which they could wager against other duelists on the island. Whoever earned 10 star chips gained entry into the tournament finals where they would compete for the $3 million grand prize and a chance to duel Pegasus himself. For his first duel, Yugi faced off against the conniving Weevil Underwood, a duelist with whom he had a bit of history. While riding the boat to Duelist Kingdom, Weevil took Yugi's precious Exodia cards and threw them into the ocean. So when Yugi spied Weevil on the island, he chased after him into the woods. Welcome, said the spider to the fly. You flew into my trap. It's time you answered for destroying my Exodia cards, Weevil. Can't you let bygones be bygones? He he he. Weevil, it's time to find out if you're as good at, at dueling as you are at running away. Was I simply running away or cleverly weaving you into my web? It's time to duel. Gosh, it's a lot of this is a lot of reading. I feel like they could have just ripped the audio from the show and played it in this game. I feel like that would have been easier than having me read. Um, okay, I won. Now I want to go second against Weevil. I do. I want to go second against him. I think that's the best option against little old Weevil Underwood. Alright, Weevil. What you got for me? Dude, look at the... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, my phone is going off. What the heck does Wasteland do? Dinosaur. You know what? This will jack up the field power bonus for him. So, yeah, screw you. 
and this is the only way I can summon a card. So, we're bringing out Guy the Dragon Champion, turn one. Beautiful. Yeah, achievement for fusion summoning. Okay. Some time to set down Spellbinding Circle. And... Can I attack? Oh no, I can't. Oh, I can attack. Ah, ha ha, suck on that, Weevil. Weevil needs to get something on the field here pretty quickly. Really, Petit Moth. Bro, are you gonna... Are you gonna do... Aw, oh, Ambulant of Ambition. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, dude, this thing's about to wreck me. Eh, uh, no it's not. I got different plans. Okay, um, I don't know how this is gonna work. So, it gets 500 attack times the difference in levels during the battle only. When this card is sent to the graveyard, you can return it to the top of your deck. So, 5, that's 25, oh my gosh, dude, I don't know how to kill this stupid thing. It's useless to him right now, so, I am alright to just try to figure this out. He can't attack with it, so, it's essentially useless at the moment. At the present moment. It could easily become more than useless here, but, for right now it's useless, that spellbinding circle keeping me, keeping it, keeping me alive. So, okay, so he's gonna play Swords Revealing Light. Um, okay, so he summoned Hercules Beetle. Burning Land. Destroy all field spell cards on the field. Inflict 500 points of damage to each player's life points. Yeah, sure. Burning Land. Okay. So I have to just end my turn. Burning land. I'll just win by burning land, dude. Whatever it takes. Okay, Mammoth Grave. Mammoth Graveyard, I'll go ahead and set it. Okay, I should be able to win now. Like, I don't know if Weevil's got anything. I don't know if he's got any little... Well, conniving little things up his sleeve. Okay, go go ahead and attack Mammoth Graveyard. I don't care. Your stupid Hercules Beetle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that damage. Okay, I'm gonna set him. Hopefully, he'll leave Hercules Beetles in a or Hercules Beetle in attack mode like an idiot. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Be stupid, Weevil. Oh no, okay, well, man-eater bug, say goodbye, Gaia. Okay, well, Gaia's dragon champion's gone. Just awesome. Just freaking awesome, dude. Okay, that is awesome, though. Mirror Force is awesome. Let's go ahead and flip Torike. Battle phase. I'm gonna have him attack the face-down monster, or not. Dude's gonna have freaking Wabaku out here. Okay, he's not gonna take any damage. Okay, I can't even destroy his monsters on his turn. Okay, well, that's great. Burning land. Hopefully, I can just win from burning land at this point. Give me something. Okay, guess Mystical Elf works. Mystical, Mystical Elf works. It's not the ideal summon, but she works. Because we can go ahead and just kill everything. And now, Weevil, you are in a world of hurt, buddy. You are in a world of hurt. Because you're going to be down to 2,900 life points here. And I've got three monsters poised to attack. Oh, uh, poor Weevil. Getting hit with the mirror force. I think that's about GG, buddy. I think that's GG, Weevil. Come on, give me Dark Magician. Okay, Horn of the Unicorn. Horn of the Unicorn. Okay, so I get to finish you off with Summon Skull. 
Oops. Let's do it. Bang, victory. Nice. Okay, so it's over. I've won. No, impossible. My moth is unbeatable. He didn't even get to summon his moth. Poor dude. Ooh, so new campaign duel unlocked. Harpy late the Harpy Lady. We got the reverse duel unlocked. Uh, new avatar unlocked. Deck recipe. Uh, new booster pack unlocked. My Valentine. Signature card award. Cocoon of Evolution. Uh, new card Gokabor. New card Big Insect. And victory duel uh, points earned. Okay, so we have uh, har the Harpy Lady now. Let's go ahead and go open up some My my uh card packs they are 400 so i think i'm gonna open up depending on what i get i might open up four but probably three all right torrential tribute pretty good warm warm okay so some decent cards in here i might end up only opening up i think i'm gonna open up three i think that gives it a fair little go see if i amazon is village so the amazonists are in here not not a bad pack so far, but not anything too great. Great moth. Harpy Dancer. Okay. Uh, it'd be nice to, it'd be kinda cool to make a female I think that's what I might do in the in this game is make a female deck, like an Amazonist Harpies hybrid deck. Uh but let's head back in the campaign. I might actually, you know, they're only five bucks for the additionals. Um I'm actually really enjoying this so far, so I might actually just spend the extra fifteen bucks. Uh, Yugi wasn't the only duelist who was motivated to win the tournament for a loved one. Despite being a novice duelist, Joey had his own reasons for wanting to win. His sister, Serenity. I better be the champion for, for Serenity's sake. She's always counted on me, even when we were kids. I'm going to win this tournament and the prize money. I'm going to make sure you don't lose your eyesight by paying for your surgery, I promise. This meditative moment was rudely broken when Joey and his friends heard someone laughing and taunting another duelist a short distance away. A voice that annoying could just could only belong to Mai. The team met Mai Valentine on the boat to Duelist Kingdom. She was a manipulative, self-absorbed duelist who had the uncanny ability to always know what card she could she would draw next. Hey Yugi, are your are your duels going well? I might be up for a duel myself, so get ready because I choose to challenge you, Joey. What? You challenge me? Do you have the guts to accept? I accept. Let's duel. Get ready to lose. Okay. Oh, I gotta use Joey's trash deck, man. I'm gonna get... Oh, dude, I'm gonna get trashed, I think. Maybe the reverse duels is what I paid for. Maybe that's what I paid for. With Joey's trash deck, I want to go first. This is going to be rough, I think, to win with Joey. Oh, he's got Raigeki. Never mind. This dude's out here with Raigeki. Okay, let me set Grave Robber. I don't know when I will win or what I'm going to use that for, but... Because I don't think my... Okay, 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 this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. This is a horrible start. Joey, I need you to have a strong monster somewhere. Oh, you got Battle Ox. Alright. Well, well alright, Joey. I can dig your Battle Ox. Okay, we're good. We're good. The Battle Ox was a game changer. I didn't expect him to have Battle Ox or anything remotely halfway decent. Ah, uh, this card is this. This is what I expected. This trash right here, like Flame Manipulator, kind of trashes that in your deck. Harpy Lady. Okay, so we killed Harpy Lady already, and Hysteric. I don't even know what that does. Harpy's Channeler. Um. No, I can't continue my attack. Discard one Harpy card, special zone, one Harpy my Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, dude. That's. I almost need to ride. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Not gonna ride Geki yet. I'll let her get more monsters out here. Yeah, now I can ride Yankee. 
Okay, maybe not. I'll just kill it. Destroyer Golem, why couldn't you be better? Why do you have to suck too? You know what? I'm right, Gekki. She doesn't have many cards left in her hand. I'm gonna write Gekki. I'm not gonna give her the chance to make some ferocious comeback with Harpy's Chandler. Okay, good stuff. I actually think I need to get that. I need to buy that Harpy card for my collection. For my collection. Oh no. Okay, the Monster Reborn is real. Oh, hey. Yes. Suck on this, Grave Robber. Give me that Monster Reborn. And this is... Yeah, there- What the- What the hell? One or- Okay, when an opponent's monster goes to target the mod change, okay. Get this card, okay. Um, guess we're summoning baby dragon. Baby dragon time. Dang, now baby dragon, 1400 points of damage. Not bad. Mai's gotta draw something good here. Oh, she got a Harpy Lady, but that's not gonna save her. No, that's, I don't want to activate it yet. Oh god! Okay, okay! It's Harpy Lady Sisters time! Holy moly, dude! No, I gotta give battle. I gotta give battle ox the increased attack. Both effects. Um, I can't do that. I gotta give it to battle ox. I can't have baby dragon having that effect. Okay, graceful charity. Okay, this will work. Draw three cards. Um, can I look at this real quick? No, I can't. Um, son of a gun, dude. I, I need all the car. I need all three of these. I want all three of these. Um, I guess I'll throw polymerization. Now, a thousand dragons is a fusion, technically. Okay. Well, I know that now. You can toss a coin if you call it right. Just draw a monster. <laughs> Wrong. Just draw. Oh God. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I need to kill Harpy Lady Sisters. That needs to happen. Okay, now the question is, will my attack or will she let it go? Will she let me have Baby Dragon in defense out there? Is she gonna, she's gonna attack it. She's drawing monsters, which is actually pretty surprising to me. Oh look, another kunai with chains. Okay, let me set time wizard. So I'm out of cards in my hand as well. So this is actually getting kind of interesting here because I'm out of cards in my hand. She's close to being out of cards in her hand. No, nothing yet. Please, no Harpy's pet dragon or anything. Nothing crazy, dude. Bottomless trap hole. Okay, that I can make that work. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna flip time wizard. No, I don't want to activate his effect. No, dude, this is annoying. Okay, no, oh my gosh, it's always freaking asking if you want to activate the effect. No, I don't want to activate the effect. Oh my gosh. Okay, enter. Oh, come on, don't draw anything crazy, nothing crazy, nothing crazy, de-spell, okay, that's fine, it's not even a spell anyway, so, no, fine, fine, I'll activate kunai with chains, fine. 
2700 attack. Oh, baby dragon time. Oh god, uh, let's try it. Yes! Killed it. GG, my GG. Victory, baby. That should give us Harpy Lady. Uh, how? How could I ever lose to such an amateur? My, I tried to tell you that there's more to Duel Monsters than just kicking the other guy's butt. If you're ever going to be a real champion, you've got to learn to care about someone other than yourself. Okay, so Attack from the Deep unlocked. Harpy Lady Reverse Duel unlocked. Uh, deck Avatar for my... Well, if I'm doing an all-female deck, I need to use my avatar. Uh, Harpy Lady Signature card. Harpy Lady Sisters Award card. Mountain Award card and some Victory Duel points. So nice. So now Attack from the Deep. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just do all these. I'm just going to complete this campaign. Um, and then we will uh, go back and do the reverse duels. At least try to do them because that first one is ridiculous. Uh, the truth and power of the Millennium Puzzle was beginning to dawn on Yugi. During his duels, the puzzle infused Yugi with the power and soul of an ancient spirit. Though this was a major issue to ponder. There was a smaller but no less important matter to deal with first. All the duelin' made me hungry. Did any of you guys remember to bring any food with you? Sorry, Joey. What were we thinking coming here with, with no food? How are we ever going to get through the rest of the competition without anything to eat? That's a good question, Joey. This dueling really takes it out of you. And I haven't seen any burger stands or restaurants since we got here. Sniff. <laughs> I'll actually sniff. I hope you guys could hear that. I smell something cooking that away. They followed the scent to the beach where they spotted a campfire with several roasting fish on the in the distance. Oh man, I just love barbecued fish. Smells good. And I bet it tastes even better. What makes you think those fish are yours to eat? Uh, excuse me? We eat first and ask questions later. Your stomachs will thank me. Joey ran down to the campfire. Joey would say anything to fill his belly. Some people have absolutely no self-control. Stomach growl. Joey, save some for me! Tristan ran after Joey. It wasn't long before Yugi and Tay had joined them as well. Joey grabbed one of the fish from the fire. Oh man, this looks so good! Just as the team began to bite into the fish, uh, a young man emerged from the ocean with a spear in his hand. Enjoy yourselves, you fish thieves, for this is your last meal. I knew this was a bad idea. How dare you steal my fish, you bottom-feeding thieves? Hey, chill out, guy. It's just a few fish. A few fish that do not belong to you, and to steal a fisherman's catch is to prove you have no honor. Wait a second, aren't you Mako Tsunami, t the top-ranked ocean duelist? And who might you be? I'm Yugi Moto. Sorry about your fish. You're Yugi Moto, the only duelist ever to defeat Sato Kaiba? What a fine surprise. I must apologize, I've been ungracious. If you are friends of Yugi Moto, please come sit down and eat your fill. The team sat down at the fire and shared a meal with Mako. After the feast, the team thanked Mako and started to head out when Mako threw his spear at the ground in front of them. I treated you to dinner. Perhaps you will honor me with a duel. He's nuts. No, but I am an expert fisherman and you have taken my bait. What bait? Why, the fish, of course. I laid it out and lured you three right in. But I never expected to catch Yugi Moto. I reeled in another duelist a short time ago, but he was not a worthy opponent. But a duel against you, Yugi would be a true test. Mako Tsunami, I accept your challenge. Alright, story deck time. Necklace of Command. I kind of like how it shows some different cards here. Alright, um, let's go rock. Okay, Mako, you get to pick. What am I going? Second? First? Second. Oh no, he's going second. I'm going first. Alright, no trash. Oh gosh, what a trash. Once per turn, you could change this card to face down defense. When this card is flipped, summon target one monster your opponent controls, return that target to your. Okay. It's actually not bad. Okay, that's it. Alright, that's it. That's all I want to do for this turn. Of course, you, me. Why am I not surprised? Mad Lobster. Wait, that. Oh gosh. Um, okay, so I'm going to start out with this. 
And I'm going to summon Destroyer Golem. I don't know what Mako has. I don't know what he has up his sleeve here. One turn. Giant Soldier of Stone. I want to get him to attack when Swords Revealing Light is up. So I can mirror force him, but I want to get set up a little bit here. Turn two. Okay. Okay, that's not really what I wanted to draw, but that's alright. I'll summon Rude Kaiser. Sacrifice Giant Soldier Stone for Rude Kaiser. That's my turn. And I'll get. I'll get one more turn before he can attack. So there's that set and done. Okay, so I could summon Gaia, but I don't really want to, nor do I want to summon Summon Skull yet. Okay, now flip all your monsters and attack me. Flip them. Come on. <gasps> Are you effing kidding me, dude? Dude. Uh, what? is he doing, man? Why does he have five, four monsters face down? Dude, I'm confused. Dude. What is he doing, man? What if I just put everybody in defense? Will you flip them now? Okay, well he's sacrificing, so that's just as good. Okay, well flip all the rest of your monsters, thank you. Now flip, keep flipping, keep flipping. Yeah, there we go. You have made one grave mistake, Mako. And I like to say that, uh, that works out nicely, because I'm going to bring back your legendary fisherman. Where is he? I'll bring back your signature monster on the my side of the field. Alright, so who has the higher attack here? I think it's Destroyer Golem. Yeah, it is. Switch him to attack. Go ahead and summon, summon Skull. This is, uh, it, that should boost lightning. It would make sense. Okay, give this a summon Skull. And this is... Oh! Ooh, Tornado Wall. I don't actually know what Tornado Wall does. Can I just not attack in general? Wait, so I can't win if I can't get rid of Yumi. What the heck, dude? This is some BS. I can't win without... Oh my god, dude, what on earth is this? I'm not gonna let him bring out anything powerful, so... We're at a standstill. Until I can get rid of Yumi. I don't even know if Yugi has a card in his deck to get rid of Yumi. Yay, giant soldier is stoned. Just keep attacking with legendary fishermen, I guess. I don't know what else to do, dude. There's nothing for me to do. I have to just literally stall time until I can draw something that is actually helpful. This sucks, dude. This really sucks. Swords are revealing light. Really? This is so stupid. As I'll bring out Gaia, there's not much else I can do except just make my attack stronger. Um, I think I will win. I will win if we have to draw all our cards out. I will win at that point. Dude. What is this? Attack the moon. Once per turn, when the battle position of a right top monster you control is changed, you can target one strap. Okay, do I have a rock monster on the field? I do. 
Ah, oh, now change the defense. Destroy Yumi. That destroys Tornado Wall. Okay, now Legendary Fisherman. And now you're in a world of hurt, Mako. You are in a world of hurt. You got 2,500 life points left. What are you gonna do with it? What are you gonna do, Mako? Oh, you're gonna do absolutely nothing. I'm gonna summon Horn and Imp for fun. Actually, I'm gonna summon Horn and Imp so I can beat you with your own monster. Your own signature monster, Mako. Say goodnight, Mako, by your own monster. G G. What a grand duel. I salute you, my friend. The victory was not easily won, Mako. You're a great duelist yourself. Okay, so the dinosaur duelist unlocked. Attack from the deep, reverse duel. New deck avatar unlocked, Mako. Mako's uh, deck recipe. Challenge mode unlocked. Uh, new challenge deck unlocked. Rit Mako Tsunami Ritual of the Gishki. Or Gishki. Booster pack Bakura. Signature card, Legendary Fisherman. Uh, card award Amphibian Beast, Giant Red Snake award card, and some dual points for victory. So let's go open up some packs to end the episode here. Uh, let's open up a few Bakura packs here. Maybe I'll open up three of these. Yeah, I think three of these will be fine. We'll open up three. Unless I pull something amazing. Ooh, Des Volsk. Ooh, I like this pack. We got an agent. We got an agent. We got Des Volskoff. Vols Des Volskoff. Can't talk. Uh, Dark Necrofear and Spirit Message N. I actually really like that pack. That was really that's a good pack in my opinion. I like it. Um, this pack not so much. I guess we got Spirit Message L. Witch of the Black Forest is not bad, not bad at all. Um, okay, not bad. Archfiend Zerato or Archlord Zerato, not Archfiend. Archlord Zerato. Uh, not bad. Okay, one more Bakura pack. Um, nothing, not much. Snatch Steel's not bad. Infernal Queen Archfiend's not horrible. Uh, Bark of, da of Dark Ruler's not terrible either, but that's about it for decent cards. But, uh, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, uh, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out!